Microsoft defends their cash for apps policy with developers. Amazon wants to build a sub $100 tablet for more masses. And Nokia's solar charging rumors return. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm still wondering why WebOS is still a topic in smartphones. And this is Pocket Now Daily. Believe it or not, Microsoft is having a couple of issues with their pay for application app strategy as some people are kind of complaining about the fact that even though Microsoft has decided to pay $100 and up to $2,000 to developers for every application that they submit, obviously people are concerned that we will be getting 100 versions of strip poker and not something that's really substantial. And for those of you that are wondering just how well it's going for Microsoft when it comes to applications, could you please cast Joe Belfiore, when are we getting Pandora? It's almost the end of Q1. And we don't have it yet. Let's continue talking about Amazon. Obviously, their Kindle Fire did ignite the 7-inch tablet market, but sadly, it did not ignite it for Amazon. Actually, Android tablets have pretty much squeezed that tablet out, even with its price tag, and we know the reasons why. But apparently, Amazon is working on building a $100 tablet this time, as they obviously want to cater to even more masses. And it begs to wonder, why exactly, if the Kindle Fire HD is such a beautiful tablet with great sound and everything, why does it sell? Well, it's called the Kindle. Kindle UI, Jeff Bezos. Nobody really likes it. And let's continue talking about tablets that did not make a dent because we do know that the first generation of the Kindle Fire looked exactly like the BlackBerry Playbook that never sold. And for those of you wondering that what will happen with that tablet, well, according to some BlackBerry executives, apparently they are working on a tablet up to the point where they have a roadmap of at least half a dozen products for the end of this year, and at least one of them will be a tablet, but it just begs to wonder, will you add email to this tablet uh, by any chance, BlackBerry? Uh, I mean crazy. And for those of you that remember the previous rumors last week of Motorola building an X line of smartphones that's able to be personalized, well, for those of you that didn't know, Google hired former Apple evangelist Guy Kawasaki to bring back some mojo to Motorola, and as it turns out, he recently posted on Google+, Plus because I don't know how you call that, but he posted on Google+, Plus that wouldn't it be cool if phones were able to be personalized? So, for those of you that are wondering what's happening with Motorola in the future, this is what's happening, so stay tuned. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, it's been generally rumored that Nokia will someday work on solar-powered smartphones. And apparently that's getting closer and closer as they've recently tweeted, Sun, Sun, here we come. And it just begs to wonder what's going to happen because there are no events planned right now. Everybody launches phones until pretty much the fall from here going on, or probably the summer. So that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think about solar-powered smartphones? Would you like that to happen? Would you love that panel to be somewhere around your smartphone? In my particular case, the way I see it is that since battery technology has not evolved that much in the last couple of years, obviously figuring out other ways to get power on your phone is great. And no, wireless charging with a big pad is not the solution. I think solar-powered smartphones are probably the best way to go, but leave us a comment down below. And yes, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.